Hi, I'm volcanologist Dr. Janine Krippner, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm uh, Kira Janine. I'm Carol Stewart, and I'm in Wellington, New Zealand, and I'm an environmental um, health specialist at um, Massey University. Um, so today I'm going to talk about uh, volcanic ash testing and the sort of arrangements we have here in New Zealand. Um, so volcanic ash is the most widespread um, volcanic hazard um, and it's generated by explosive eruptions. Um, it tends to be quite, in places like New Zealand, it tends to be quite an exotic kind of hazard because we don't get ash falls all that often. The most recent one was in uh, 2012 from the Tongariro eruption. Um, so during and after these ash falls, it's common to have a very high um, information demand from people like farmers, uh, utility managers, the media, the public, and things like public health agencies. And the most urgent questions um, tend to be those ones about the impacts of ash fall on people's health, animal health, crops, soils, water supplies, and things like that. Um, so to some extent, we can fall back on pre-prepared messages for these, but um, We've been working hard with our National Emergency Management Agency to get these pre-prepared messages like up and ready to go. Um, and we, we can't fully address people's concerns because volcanic ash is very variable stuff and it tends to have different properties every single time. So different between volcanoes, different between same, different eruptions of the same volcano and also just between, um, even between different ash fall events at different locations because the brain size varies in different locations. So for every new event, we need to basically collect and test samples from a wide range of um, locations where people live and across farmland. And this needs to be done as quickly as possible um, before the rain affects the ash. Um, so it's quite a logistical challenge. Um, and in terms of testing, we have two main priorities. Um, number one is to look at the grain size distribution of the samples so we can work out the proportion of fine particles, which are the ones that tend to get airborne and to um, a, a, be inhaled by people and affect their health. Um, the other um, main priority is that we look at we we carry out leaching tests to work out how much of elements that are potentially toxic, such as fluoride, um, will be released by the ash, which is important for things like contaminating water supplies and also um, if the ash is ingested by grazing livestock as well. So these are the urgent things we do. Um, less urgently, we'll go ahead and we'll do things like crystalline silica um, testing and look at particle shapes and morphologies and so on. Um, that's about it. Any questions? No, thank you so much. That's a really good overview. And I know there is so much different technical science and a lot of different disciplines that go into everything you just said. So thank you for giving me an overview. And thank you for joining me for this Volcano Moment. Our pleasure.